With no cockpit voice recorder to help them, investigators turned to radio dispatch recordings and transcripts. TWA Flight 2 took off three minutes ahead of the United flight in a different direction. It was to fly northeast towards its first checkpoint, Daggett. The TWA pilot was Jack Gandy. With 15,000 hours as captain, he was nearly as experienced as United's Bob Shirley. Gandy knew these skies well. He'd flown this route nearly 200 times. Good morning, TWA dispatch, TWA2. We've got a little bit of weather here we want to get on top of. Be a good man and ask Salt Lake to clear us to 21,000. Roger, TWA2, requesting clearance at 21,000 feet. So, TWA asked for 21,000. So Salt Lake clears them? Uh, no. Request denied due to conflicting traffic. Advisory TWA2, unable to approve to 1,000 due to traffic. That's a no-go on 21,000. United 718 is there. Captain Gandhi wants to avoid the clouds in his path. And in 1956, he has another way to accomplish that. Let's just get on top of this stuff. He uses visual flight rules, or VFR. Roger that. Advise Salt Lake I'm going to VFR and 1,000 on top. Salt Lake, TWA2 requesting 1,000 on top. Maintain at least 1,000 on top. Advise TWA2 his traffic is United 718, direct Durango. The TWA crew was cleared to fly 1,000 feet above the clouds, but warned to look out for United 718. Half an hour after requesting 1,000 on top, Gandhi reports his actual altitude. 21,000 feet. Investigators now understand how the TWA flight ended up at the same altitude as United 718. As for why both planes diverted from their scheduled routes at the same time, Damn! What's he doing there? Come on, pull up, pull up! The answer is the crash site itself. An awe-inspiring natural wonder. Let's give him a look, shall we? Hi, Captain. Wonderful sights to see way down below. The Grand Canyon, for instance, one of the seven wonders of the world. Just keep your eyes peeled and you'll get a spectacular view no matter where you're sitting. Damn! But on June 30th, 1956, it proves fatal. Oh, God! Jack Parshall needs to find out how such a common practice killed 128 people. <laughs> 